Hi, I'm Lita Leepens. And I'm Jim Gordon. Welcome to another edition of Our City Tonight. Well, Lita, here we are in late June already. We're back here at Hedra, our home base, in the Cabana Lounge. Yes, we love filming here and we love all the people here, but let's get right to... Oh, it's my turn. Our City Tonight. Continuing our uh, wine, BC Wine Spotlights, here on Our City Tonight. Uh, joining us now is a woman who I think holds the record. You've been on our show more than any other person in our seven years. We're just starting well, our eight. Besides Jim. You, yeah. besides, <laughs> and I'm barely allowed on anymore. But uh, Crystal Levy Waters is here. Uh, yeah. Of course, longtime viewers of our show will recognize her. She was our very first sponsor. Yes. And we drank a lot of wine with her. She's back to we talk about some great wines. Welcome. It's great to have you back with us Always on camera. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for and having me. Thanks for letting me use the uh, handheld microphone. Here we go. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, listen, you were, you were on last summer, but it was via Zoom, because that's what yes. we were all doing, but now you're back in person. It's great to have you here. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what's been going on with you and the Time Family of Wines. Yes, so many exciting things. So we've rebranded our company as Time Family of Wines where we have three different brands. So we have our McWaters Collection, which we have had for a number of years. Our Evolve, which always a favorite with oh, the yes. upper vessels. Yes. Uh, all about potato chips and Evolve. <laughs> and then we have a brand new one. So our newest addition is our Kronos, which Kronos is the god of time. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this. Now, yeah. I've not tried this yet. We will Absolutely. do it right after we're off camera. Absolutely. So this is our new rosé. This is 100% Syrah. So quite often, rosé is not made of Syrah here in the Okanagan, but it's got just a beautiful strawberry, white pepper characteristic mm. to it. You know, pretty color. Perfect for the summer as we head into the summer season. So mm -hmm. I thought it was perfect to bring today. And it's always a favorite. The Evolve, actually that remains one of my absolute favorite bubbles. It, oh, it does of you. all time and potato chips aside. Right, uh, exactly. Right with everything. Tell, well, you, tell the viewers a little bit about that. Absolutely. Well, you know me, there's very few days that go by that I do not consume <laughs> sparkling wine and I think that everybody should drink a little bit more of it. But this is our Evolve Effervescence. So this is a blend of Chardonnay and Pinot Blanc. And it's meant to be very fresh, fruit forward. For me, it's got this uh, pear and apple. It's kind of like walking through an Okanagan orchard at blossom time. So perfect for any day or occasion. This <laughs> is one of my favorites. Uh, of course, your father, your late father was on our show a number of times as well. Yes. This is obviously a creep wine. Tell our viewers who yeah, may not have sampled it. Exactly. This is our McWaters collection, a Chardonnay or 2020. So this is 100% barrel fermented. It goes through full malolactic fermentation. And what that means is it gives it a nice, rich, buttery characteristic to it. This is amazing with a beautiful beautiful like poached prawn dish or creamy pasta or just on its own as well. So I, yeah, and I have to summer. say I tried that because you were so gracious enough to give us some uh, a few months back. Um, we never, Jim and I never really liked Chardonnays until we met you and were introduced to um, actually this brand. Yeah, we get that a lot actually because, mm -hmm. you know, ABC, anything but Chardonnay. Yeah. Because quite often I think Chardonnay got a bad rap because for a while there, especially in the late 80s, early 90s, it was quite often overly oaked. Yes. So yeah. Australian or California oaked, it's like, what are you trying to hide with that? This very much, it has a little bit of oak, but it's really about the tropical fruit, oh. the butterscotch. It's almost mm. like a baked apple pie with a little bit oh. of cinnamon almost, <laughs> but it's dry, but it's got this beautiful yeah. fruit. I remember it. when we first got together on the show way back when, you said to me, when Lita said, oh, Jim doesn't drink Chardonnay, and you said, you haven't had a good Chardonnay. Yeah. And that, exactly. that was so true, yeah. Yeah, and I've missed your descriptions of the wine now. <laughs> well, thank you, well, I really missed, missed you that. too. <laughs> um, we're gonna talk about a great deal you've got on at Forge in just a few mm. seconds, but let's talk about your restaurants. Yes. In Penticton, where Time Winery is. Mm -hmm. So we're a little bit different winery in that we are located right downtown Penticton. So we're an urban winery. We do not have the beautiful lake view or the rolling vineyard view. Good we are right downtown, which is really fun. So we purchased an old movie theater that was originally built in 1955, and we've converted it into our winery. So we have a winery and restaurant right on site. We have a number of special enhanced tastings that we're offering this summer. So for a little more education, we've got time to get cheesy, time for school. And then we also have our Sabre School. So oh, come fun. and learn. We teach you how to Sabre 
sparkly wine. So Perfect. it's kind of fun. We've got a, uh, a few weeks left uh, in this great deal. If you're downtown, we'll give a little plug to Forage Restaurant yes. on Robson at uh, Jervis in the uh, Listel Hotel, yeah? Yes. Tell, them, uh, tell our viewers about that. If you're downtown, till the end of June, what are you doing? Yes, yeah, so right now they're featuring our wines. We have, I think it's eight different wines by the glass, so it's really a nice cross-section of a number of ours. And uh, if you go in there, taste the wines, they'll also give you a, a voucher to come and visit us at the winery for complimentary tasting. So it's a nice nice way to sample some of our wines. What a great way to have uh, look forward to summer in uh, the Okanagan. Right, and such amazing food. The team does such a great job there. Right. So. And what you're looking at right now is a uh, woman, we, we've said many times, all maudlin-ism aside, that we wouldn't have a show if you weren't there at the beginning. And the woman you're looking at right now, we wouldn't have you if, if we didn't have Leanne from Town Hall Brands. So right. yeah. we're looking at her. Thank you, Leanne, for introducing you. Thank us. You, Leanne. She's yes. lovely woman. Leanne's amazing. Well, she's okay. <laughs> but, uh, no, she's fine. <laughs> she's a doll. No. We anyway, it's great Leanne. to work with you again. Congratulations oh, on all this. You. We'll have all Crystal Lee's uh, info in the closing credits. Another one of these great wine segments spotlighting BC wines here on Our City Tonight. This Inside Business segment is brought to you by Mintlist, the easy and convenient way to sell your car for the best value and save money when buying another vehicle. It's always great when we do these Inside Business segments when we can talk to a company that has taken a traditionally long-term idea and have added to it to make it more advantageous for the customer. That is the case with our guests, uh, case with our guests now from Mintless, as we mentioned in the intro. Uh, it's a great pleasure to welcome Mike Wood. He is the co-founder and CEO, and Mirsa Rezadeh, Got it. Got it. Got it. The, the co-founder and CEO of Mint List. Guys, welcome to our city tonight. Thank you Thank for you. having us. Uh, great to have you. This is exciting. Uh, when this came across my desk, uh, Lee and I were talking about this about a month ago, about just the excitement again, as I said, this is a, the car industry is a trillion dollar, Mike, you were saying? In New North America. Used, in North America. Used, a trillion every year. Tell us what Mint List is doing to improve the buying and selling. We'll start with you first. Uh, we make the buying and selling process less frustrating. Uh, in a nutshell, by making it accessible and easy for everyone, consumers and for dealers. Um, and we start with your car, your current car, because that's usually the number one pain point for people is, <clears throat> I want to buy a new car, what do I do with the one in the driveway now? Uh, and we start with that by making it super simple for you to sell it with the most advantageous and easy process out there. And you guys, just staying with you for a second, you guys are there the whole way too, because I know that in my early days when I was selling my car, I don't know anything about cars. And yet I was really scared because I thought people see that, oh, here's a sucker, I can, I can take them for this. Or the opposite when you're buying and the guy tries to maybe do it to you. You guys are there the whole time to help out the customers. You finish up and then we'll turn to you. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, when you're listing your own car, you often don't know what option packages are on it. Maybe you did when you bought it 10 years ago, but you don't remember anymore. Uh, we do all that work for you. You just take some photos, you walk around your car, we create an inspection report, we pull all the Carfax data, we pull all the data on your car, like the factory options that you may have forgotten about, like I mentioned, and then we put it up in a package that our buyers understand. And, and Marissa, one of the things I was wondering when I first read about you guys was, well, wait a second, uh, uh, does, how do I test drive or whatever, things like that. You guys have that covered as well, yes? Um, absolutely, so uh, you do the inspection on your phone, and um, our system is a smart, so you can't even pick up a scratches on the bumper of your car or your tire condition. We pull up all the factory options, car facts, so we package it up nicely, the list all the information that's needed for the buyers to be able to offer you the most uh, value for your car. And uh, there's no need to test drive. The system is smart. It does everything for you. I would also, one of the things that really struck me um, is the safety element. Uh, we were talking about this before we went on camera. There is. I don't want to get paranoid, but there is sometimes a danger with this, and I'll stay with you on this. It, it, you guys, again, look after that too, so no one is put in a vulnerable position. Absolutely, so safety is really important. I personally um, had terrible experiences buying and selling my cars, and that was the reason that I paired with Mike to build Mythless, and, and so safety was uh, one of the number one things that we had in our mind when we built this. And um, you can do it from your home, no one at your door, no test drives, and uh, no one to deal with. You know, Mike, I, I will turn over to you now with, uh, when I first looked again at your, 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 your brand, uh, I didn't clue in right away to the fact that it's new cars as well. I just thought, oh, this is a great used car arena. Tell our viewers what they can do with a, a new car. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's really important because a lot of the people that are doing this in this market in terms of like online only dealerships that are out there these days, they're all used cars only. Uh, and by the nature of what we've done is that we have hundreds of bricks and mortar car dealers on board with us, new cars, used cars. We vet them all. We make sure that the dealers are people that you're going to want to deal with. Uh, and then we back every car up on, with a warranty that's underwritten by a third party insurance company, one of the largest insurers in Canada. So we give you a 60 day warranty on any car you purchase, regardless of the dealer it's coming. Tell about this, uh, which is going to be important to our viewers, this, this, this tax benefit too, between selling and buying. That's, and that's where it gets really interesting. So I think a lot of people don't recognize this and I spend a lot of time in the car business. So for me, it was inherently known that you get a tax credit when you trade your car in on a new one. So let's say you buy a $50,000 car and you trade in a $30,000 car, you're paying tax on $20,000. Right. Right? Instead of on $50,000. So that's a sizable delta between the two. Um, and it means that for consumers, you know, why would I sell my car on Craigslist and go through all that pain, you know, people coming to your door, right. no shows, test drives, all that kind of stuff to make a couple thousand dollars more when the tax credit is worth $6,000 just doesn't make any sense. Right. Hey, we should say too, um, uh, you guys are certainly gathering a lot of attention. Uh, Mintless recently winning the 2021 New Venture BC competition. You both bring uh, award-winning uh, careers to the table too. Uh, let's put modesty aside for a second and talk about your careers. Because you both, as I said to you, there's this great synergy between the two of you because you both bring something clearly valuable to the table. Marissa, we'll start with you. Sure, so I grew up in Iran, moved to the States for grad school. Then I came up here to um, join an early stage startup, but I wanted more, something that would really impact the lives of people, because cars are the second largest asset for most people. So we started building Memphis two years ago, and it's been a great ride. And you've won a lot of awards too, haven't you? Um, yeah, so we won the New Ventures BC first place um, award last year, and apparently I'm the only person who's won the uh, the award the first place twice in its 20 year old history. Well done. And, and Mike, you bring a lot of years experience in the car industry, which obviously uh, was a big part of what you're doing now. Brief background on yourself. Uh, started washing cars in high school. <laughs> okay. and that's, where, that's where it all began. And then uh, I spent my adult life working in car dealerships, owning them, um, running them, everything else. So I was also the first ever president of the National Vehicle Leasing Association in the States. First ever Canadian president, rather. Uh, in its 50 plus year history. So I've been around the block a few times. Uh, guys, this, this is great to, to talk to you about this. I, Mike, I just want to ask you one more time to, to, to just really reinforce this point that I found really interesting about the, 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 the tax benefit in terms of uh, trading, uh, yeah. trading up, just and, to make sure our viewers understand and, that. And let me explain that in, in, in more detail because I think the really important thing is here is that the way our platform works is you get to sell your car to the dealer who is willing to pay the most for it. It's like driving to a hundred different car dealers and getting the best value for your car and then going to the car dealer that has the new car that you want and buying that car, but using the trade value that was the highest. So really important there, we drive that competition for your current car and then you only pay tax on the small difference rather than the full purchase price of the new car. Substantial savings, especially in BC, it can be up to 26%. Uh, Mintless.com will have all the, their details in the uh, closing credits. It's Mike, it's Marissa. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Inside Business. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. This Inside Business segment was brought to you by Mintlist, the easy and convenient way to sell your car for the best value and save money when buying another vehicle. This segment is sponsored by the Richmond Sentinel, providing news, entertainment, and human interest stories in print, and online. Well, 50 years ago this month, an infamous chapter in American history began when five men were arrested in the uh, Watergate Hotel in the offices of the National Democratic Committee. Two years later, a president, that would be Nixon, resigned in shame. Again, a dark moment in American history. Since then, there's been a lot of movies, TV shows, articles, books, all made of that dark chapter. Uh, I bring that up uh, not only because it is 50 years, but also because we have the director co-producer, co-writer of an interesting new film that involves that subject matter of Watergate. The film is called 18 and a Half. We'll explain why as soon as I bring up uh, Mr. Dan Mervish, who joins us from Culver City in Los Angeles. Dan, thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me on. Great to see you again. You too, sir. I want to mention just a few things about you before we get to your movie. Uh, Variety magazine called you one of the top 50 creatives to watch. You're also a best-selling author. And we should also say you uh, are a former speechwriter for a U.S. senator. 
Lots to talk about, but I want to start with your movie called 18 and a Half. And for people that don't know the history of Watergate, may not know the meaning behind that. Tell us about the meaning and the movie. Sure. So it's uh, when Nixon, part of the scandal was that Nixon recorded every conversation in the White House. Uh, he had this secret taping system. And then at some point, the judge and the, and the special prosecutor um, subpoenaed the tapes. And there was an 18 and a half minute gap in one of the tapes that had clearly been deleted. And um, and this was kind of the real turning point in the whole scandal that really took it from sort of a run of the mill presidential scandal to something that was impeachable and that ultimately forced him to resign. So our film picks up from a ours is fictional. It's about a young woman in the Nixon White House who gets a hold of this missing 18 and a half minute gap and wants to leak it to a reporter and they meet up and then they run afoul of hippies, swingers and nefarious people trying to get them. Yeah, it's a great, I love movies where you take a, a, a big, bigger than life theme and then bring small individuals in with their little story. So this is like a small faction of it. You and I talked yesterday about how what you're seeing a trend in lately um, is is taking real historical events and, and kind of altering and, and changing a little bit real people. I mentioned to you a, a Watergate related uh, show that's on right now called Gaslit. Uh, mm -hmm. winning time about the LA Lakers, where there's a lot of controversy in terms of how they portray certain characters. I love that you've said, look, this is just all fictional, but it's connected to a real life story. How did you come, uh, talk about the creativity and coming together of these people in this off season hotel somewhere uh, near Baltimore, right? Right. So. In my case, I really found the location first. It's called the Silver Sands Motel, and it was owned by a friend of mine, another indie film producer named Terry Keefe. And um, and it's actually, even though it's set in in Maryland, it's a, it, the the real location is actually on the tip of Long Island in New York. And we found this location and had just, it was literally the day after I think Trump had been elected president. And so there was a lot of discussion about Watergate and, um, and, and Nixon and comparisons there. And then we found this amazing location and Terry said, well, we've done fashion shoots here, but no one's ever shot a feature. And I said, well, this is, we should come up with a feature for this. And then I got together with my writing partner, Daniel Moya, and we, and, and I had been wanting to do something with Watergate for a long time and just hadn't really found the, the right you know, way in and and this kind of that location just started inspiring. OK, well, how would how would our characters get there? How would they get this tape? And then in doing real research, there really was a lot of, you know, plausibility behind the story. But but the characters are all fictional. Yeah. And I tell you what, the the location itself is is a character in this 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 film. I couldn't see this film taking place during the height of the the summer season, let's say. So it's it just blended beautifully. The movie we're talking about is 18 and a half. I should mention uh, it has had a great uh, run of success in festivals, already award winning. It's had theatrical. It will be out on VOD on July 5th. We're talking with Dan Mervish, uh, the uh, co-producer, director and co-writer of the film. Uh, Dan, one last question before I let you go. How difficult it is for you guys? to create a story that takes place 50 years ago for a lot of people and I'm not making uh, not being critical of people but a lot of people don't remember weren't alive then how difficult is it to bring them in without getting too exposition heavy to explain things sure well I think part of the solution was that my writing partner uh, Daniel Moya is he's 25 so oh, he's okay. a young guy he didn't remember Watergate firsthand I only remembered it you know sort of as a kid um, and so with the two of us working together, I, we could kind of bounce things off. Like, is your generation going to understand this? Do we need to explain this? Um, you know, but also the, because it's so character focused uh, and we have a tremendous cast with Willa Fitzgerald and John Magaro and the voice of Bruce Campbell as Nixon, um, you know, the, the cast and those characters kind of bring people into the story. So you really don't have to know anything about Watergate or, or about US politics. I mean, we've shown this film all over the world in Brazil, Spain, in, in Whistler and in Canada was our Canadian premiere and people understand it just fine. Dan, I think that's a good uh, selling point for the film that uh, you don't have to do a lot of studying. I would recommend that people <laughs> go look up that period because it was quite interesting. And I did say yeah. to you yesterday, laughable at times, uh, the stupidity. But hey, Dan Mervis, thanks for joining us from Los Angeles. <clears throat> Excuse me. The new movie, 18 and a half. Look for it on VOD across North America and around the world uh, starting July 5th. Dan, thanks again. We'll look forward to having you back with your next film.
All right. Thank you, Jim. This segment was sponsored by the Richmond Sentinel, providing news, entertainment, and human interest stories in print and online. Well, we hope you're enjoying this episode of Our City Tonight. Yeah, and uh, if you want to check us out on our social media, you can follow us at Our City Tonight on Facebook, Instagram, and all those different platforms, as well as our YouTube channel. That's right. Hey, we should also mention, of course, one of our uh, ongoing partnerships, the Richmond Sentinel. You can check them out in hard copy print, the old school way, or online. Uh, we want to remind you to check out my interview with the owner of Signature Mazda, Marco Joano. We got a chance to talk to him at the first boutique dealership in all of Canada in the Richmond Mall. You can look for that on the uh, Richmond Sentinel uh, digital video website. Okay. Now, back yeah. to the show. Yeah. Well, Lita, I can't believe we're at, uh, we're at the end of June, July, August, September. Great uh, vacation summertime coming up. And uh, joining us now is Sandra Moffat. She is the marketing manager for uh, Tourism Ireland. She's joining us from Toronto. Um, Sandra, welcome to uh, our city tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, it's so nice, um, Sandra. People are traveling again, and hopefully that continues. What uh, What are you looking to promote right now uh, this summer and into early, early fall for Ireland? Well, we're just so happy that Ireland is open. People are back traveling again. It's been great to see people finally arriving from Canada onto Irish shores. There's lots going on in Ireland. The summer is the perfect place, uh, perfect time to go, and um, summer fall. Um, we've had lots of accolades recently, so Dublin in the city centre has been named one of the coolest neighbourhoods in the world, so lots going on there. And then I know you guys were previously in Belfast, it's just been awarded the prestigious UNESCO City of Music title. Um, so lots happening in the city there as well. Um, we have so many festivals happening across um, the country at the moment. We have sea sessions, a big surfing festival that really kicks off the summer in Ireland. We have lots of arts festivals in Kilkenny and Galway. We even have the Listoon Varna matchmaking festival that happens in September. So that's a lot of fun down the country. And we have, um, you know, lots of culinary food festivals like Galway Oyster Festival. We're known for a fantastic seafood as we're an island. Um, and, you know, culture night, music festivals, lots of things going on, lots of things to see and do. I'm uh, going to tease Jim about the matchmaking. I can't <laughs> leave that alone. <laughs> well, I haven't been there, in fact, but, but Jim uh, counts that as one of his most favorite places to travel to with his travel show. Yeah, I, I you know what, double Dublin has always been one of my favorite cities, uh, Sandra, but the last time I was over there in 2018, we uh, returned to Belfast, where I'd not been since 2008. And I got to tell you, every time I've been over there, it just gets better and better. And one thing I wanted to mention to you, the thing about Belfast, is that every time we go to Ireland, I'm expecting to drink a lot of beer. But I was amazed how many uh, gin tours and, and, and other types of spirit tours are popping up. That, that really, like gin especially, you can go on some spectacular gin tours in Belfast, which I did, of course. <laughs> Yeah, there's a gin revolution happening in Ireland at the moment. There's even a place in Dublin that you can make your very own gin. They have a gin school where you can infuse your own gin with your own botanicals and take that back um, to Canada with you when you come back. So, yeah, and there's, I know you were in uh, Northern Ireland. I know you visited the Giant's Causeway previously. Um, what you can do now, it's a new experience, it's really cool, is that you can get a whiskey tasting from Bushmills Distillery on the rocks of the Giant's Causeway. We call it Whiskey on the Rocks. Oh, oh, that's right, that's actually, because cool. it's not, uh, not too far away. Uh, and what's great, too, is that, that when I've been there, it hasn't been, you know, you'd, li you'd like nice weather, but it's not weather dependent. I was over there in November the first time years ago. Yeah, it rained a lot, but you're not there for the weather. You want to see some great sights. Uh, can you talk a little bit about a place that I spent a little too far, little time? Uh, how about Galway? Can you talk a little bit about that as well? Galway is one of my favorite places in the world. It's amazing. It's a really bohemian city, three hours from um, Dublin. So you go east to west of the country in three hours. You get to visit Galway. As like I said, they're known for their seafood. It's right on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean on what we call the Wild Atlantic Way. Um, 2,500 kilometers of coastal touring routes. You get to see that whole amazing um, coastal touring drive. Um, and then, yeah, in Galway, there's just so much happening. It's a really bohemian, cool little city. You won't see those high street stores. You'll see in other major cities like Dublin or in Belfast. It's all these really great little small quirky shops. 
And you might have heard of the Irish Clatter Ring, um, the famous Irish ring that stands for love, friendship and loyalty. Well, that actually comes from Galway itself, just a little town called Clatter right outside of the city centre. So when you're in Galway, you have to go get yourself one of those famous rings. Mm, sounds amazing. <laughs> That's really good. Hey, uh, one last question for you too. I, I, it's always great when you can get someplace direct. Um, we've got flights from Vancouver, obviously across the country, into Dublin, and then it's a short ride to say Belfast or anywhere else you want to go. The trains I took were quite, quite good. So uh, flights are good throughout the summer? Yeah, we're back in action. So we've uh, five direct routes from all across Canada. We have Air Canada flying direct, as you said, from Vancouver right into Dublin. And we're also flying direct from Calgary, from Halifax, from Montreal, and many, many um, flights going from Toronto daily as well. Uh, hey, uh, Sandra Moffat, thank you very much for joining us from Toronto. I know you're on a big uh, tour right now to promote Ireland. Uh, Irish Tourism, check that out. Uh, you can find out more details on the website, which we will have in the closing credits. Uh, a great place to visit uh, into July, August, and September. It's Ireland. Sandra, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having us. Can't wait to see you all on Irish shores very soon. <laughs> we were laughing at something just before we came on camera, but that doesn't stop us from saying we're back here at uh, Hedra to wrap up the show in the Cabana Lounge with Claire wearing a spectacular outfit. We had to have her on camera. Of course, we always like to anyway, but that's a great Thanks outfit for, having for the me, guys. summer. Claire, we're already at the end of June already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we want to talk about summer and all the great patios at all the places that you are director of operations for. Yes, all the executive table group restaurants have great little patios. Uh, Hydra, of course, we are in our cabana lounge, but we also have the street front patio downstairs. Love that place. Alouette has a great little street front patio, Seaside right in the Lonsdale Key, and Freebird in Richmond has a great spot. And we've put out all new summer cocktail lists at all the locations as well. So Ooh. it's always summer in an executive table re group restaurant. <laughs> and I, you sure know, I should is. say too, because all your places are connected with hotels, you guys are open seven days a week. I was here with our uh, creative consultant, Neil Jones, this morning early, having a coffee and everything, because you guys are open early seven days a week. Seven days a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a great happy hour. <laughs> yeah, you do have that. Hey, it's uh, Claire uh, joining us here at the end of the show. These cocktails are calling our names. Not sure which one you're going to have because there's several there you like. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks to Claire and all the staff here at uh, Hedra. I'm Jim Gordon. And I'm Lita Lipens. We'll see you in July on Our City Tonight. Don't forget to check out past episodes and individual interviews, all on the Our City Tonight YouTube channel. Outdoor wear for Jim and Lita, provided by Helly Hansen, alive since 1877. The Richmond Sentinel providing news, entertainment, and human interest stories in print and online.